Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kika and today we are gonna talk about some creative photo prop ideas to get you some ideas on a budget for your photos. I'm really excited about this one so sit back and take notes if you need to. <laughs> uh, all these ideas are props that you can get for under five dollars or under five pounds or euros. Um, so yeah without further ado let's get to the video. Oh, those fail. <laughs> okay, I am having some serious struggles with finding a place where it's either not construction works noise out coming into my video or then sunlight uh, creating crazy shadows all over. Okay, I don't know what's going on with the light. Ah, I don't know where to be, Luna. The light became a little weird. Just a second, I need to fix this. Oh, alrighty. So before we start, I just wanted to say quickly two things. Um, the first is that thank you so much for all your really positive and nice comments. Um, I read them all and they give me so much energy and just motivation to keep making these videos. Uh, so they do mean so much to me and I'm trying to engage and reply as much as I can, even though it's a little bit impossible, but I just wanted to say thank you and that to let you know that I do see them and read them all. And the second thing I just wanted to quickly say before we go into the video is that before Christmas, I experimented a little bit with making two videos per week. So I would upload on Wednesday or Sunday. And now I'm kind of, I haven't really decided if I can keep up with making two videos every week. So you'll probably see now that I'll upload sometimes on Wednesday, sometimes on Sunday, and maybe sometimes on both Wednesday and Sunday. Um, but just wanted to sort of let you know that, that I'm sort of experimenting and seeing, and I'm trying to at least make one video per week. Okay, I came down on the floor. I don't know, today it's just like, I can't figure out where to be for this video. Usually I can kind of figure out like a good spot, but today I'm just all over the place. Anyways, this is the place here. I'm gonna stick to this. I'm gonna be on the ground, grounded. This feels good. Oi, 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 oi. Whoop, like, oh, you don't wanna. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the first idea is to use seashells in your photo. So if you're like me, maybe you've been on a trip somewhere and then you like to collect things that you find on the beach and you could obviously do some really fun fourth perspective photos with these, but also just holding them in your hand or just taking a photo of them. They have such a nice shape and the color is the kind of neutral palette and reminds you of the sea. Um, and I, as a kid, I loved The Little Mermaid and I would just watch that like on repeat over and over and over and over again, probably driving my mom insane. But then as an adult, I've gotten to realize my fantasy of becoming a mermaid a little bit with a seashell and bikini. The next idea is to use soap bubbles. Soap bubbles are just, I don't know, so much fun. Ah, like today is just not flowing at all. <laughs> The next idea is to use soap bubbles. So as in the intro <laughs> clearly demonstrated, I had some fun with soap bubbles. I just picked them up from one of these uh, kind of hobby craft store. I think you could also probably find this in the children's department. And it's just a really fun element uh, to have. Although you have to be pretty quick when you take the photo because they do burst very, very suddenly. <laughs> hmm, I don't know, it became, I think, smudgy on the lens. That's not great. The third idea is to use some gemstone stickers or just stickers in general. I just picked these up from a craft store. I think they're used for scrapbooking and people also use them to decorate their phone, but it's perfect because you have that little glue. So I use them as kind of rhinestones to decorate my skin and you can make like a little pretty pattern and then that's just the perfect thing. You have something to show in a photo, which is also gives like a purpose and there's just something uh, nice in decorating yourself with something a little bit out of the ordinary. The next idea is to use ice cream cones. So most supermarkets, you can actually pick up just the ice cream cone without the ice cream and get inspired by some ice cream themed photos and use flowers or then some ice cream that has melted and make a little artwork with that instead. Number five is to use some cutout stars. 
So I've done a bunch of different themes with just cutting out some star shapes out of paper and either using them as a garland, so putting them on a little thread, or also just placing them on the floor, and that makes a really nice backdrop for a photo. Number six is leaves and flowers. Okay, this is something I feel like I mentioned it in every creative photo idea video, like, oh, leaves and flowers, but you know, it's so easy. You can get it right at your doorstep if in nature, and if you live in a place where there's different seasons, you will have the whole year round, just different things you can use. Um, so I just felt like it, it had to be on the list. The next idea is to use shadows. So pay attention to if there is sunlight creating some interesting shadows around you and you can use those in a photo. So obviously this is not something you can buy or a prop, but I wanted to include it in this list anyways because I think it's a really good just creative idea and playing with light is just works so well in a photo. The next one is body paint. So this is again, okay, all of these props are in the children's section. Hmm. Maybe that says something about me <laughs> and these ideas, but using body paint, and again, I bought this for just like, I think four euros or four pounds, um, and you can there decorate like uh, using it on, yeah, basically your body as a canvas, and here I just made like the starry sky, but I had planned, I would like to make like um, a tree or something or some flower themed thing, uh, just paint on my body and take a photo of that. I think that would be really cool. Number nine is to use old book pages. If you have an old book at home that you know nobody's gonna read anymore, um, taking those pages and using them in a photo, uh, there's tons of different ways you could do it. I did one where I just did a book wall, so I just put them up on the wall, kind of as wallpaper. Um, and if you don't have one at home, lots of flea markets will usually sell old books for not a lot of money and um, it's nice that they get kind of new life in a new form in a photo instead of just being dusting away somewhere in a cupboard. Number 10 is to use a tote or shopping bag. So by now there are so many nice cute tote bags out in the stores. Uh, much better to have that than use plastic bags. Um, and then if you, you know, go grocery shopping and you maybe have some nice lemons or oranges or flowers or whatever, uh, you can just throw that in a tote or shopping bag. I don't know, like this may be a little bit of a random one, but I at least got this one that's kind of pink shopping bag and for some reason that really inspired me and that made me do a whole photo just because of that shopping bag because I wanted to have it in a photo. Sometimes inspiration works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Number 11, to use a jar. I think it's something about being a collector and I've always liked to collect things. So a jar just is kind of solidifies all of that into an object where you can collect something. Um, I haven't actually done that many photos with jars, but I think they have a lot of potential and I'm a little bit of a hoarder of like mason jars and things. There's just something, well, I guess it's a little bit of a hipster thing, but it's also just, I don't know, it feels better to drink from a mason jar. Why? I don't know. It, it just... Maybe it's the... I think it's the weight of the jar that makes it. Hmm. The next one is a watering can. So either if you have one at home and obviously here how it looks like there are watering cans and there are watering cans. Um, so one that kind of looks nice, uh, that you would think would look nice in a photo is maybe the one to go for. But what I really like about watering cans is that in themselves, they already suggest an action, so something, you do something with it, uh, something very functional, so that already also gives you, or can give you ideas for a photo and what you could do in the photo. The next time is one of my all-time favorites, which is glitter or confetti, and even if it's not a party or a special occasion, you can definitely use glitter or confetti in a photo, just beware if you put it in your face or in your hair, you'll probably have it there for at least two or three weeks because glitter, that doesn't come off. No, it's gonna go in every little crack in everywhere and stay there for a long time. But I don't mind, it's okay. It's kinda nice. Hmm. Next one is candy. So I am actually trying to eat less candy now because I do feel like I eat a bit too much sugar in general, but that doesn't mean that you can't use it in a photo because it looks very pretty. And um, yeah, just, depending on what kind of candy, obviously, but I think going for those that have like a nice color and you can make a little composition with that. Um, and well, 
then you can eat it afterwards. Number 15 is to use old keys. If you live in a place or if you have some cupboards with some old keys stashed away, use those because they are really, I don't know, they have so much also symbolic meaning and like unlocking some secrets. Um, so yeah, just wanted to mention that one, even though it's maybe not something you, it's that easy to buy. Although in a flea market or thrift store, you could probably pick up some old keys. Next one is balloons. Again, I know this is not so original, but I just feel like it's such a good go-to if you don't have any ideas. Uh, balloons are just everywhere and how often do you actually get as an adult an excuse to use or buy balloons? <laughs> so if you have a photo idea uh, with some balloons and again you can choose different shapes and sizes and colors. Um, so yeah, I just time and time again I come back to them because I just think they're so fun and playful and just very also easy to carry around if you're gonna take a photo outside. The next one is to fold paper um, or even you could also just use paper but I thought more specifically about like origamis and folding paper um, in a photo so here if you don't know how to do it I mean I'm definitely no expert but I just watched some YouTube tutorials on how to do it and then be able to use that in a photo um, and but you could also do different like paper cutouts and all kinds of things just using paper. The next one is to sparklers and I don't have that many photos to show you actually because I tried to do one and it just kind of failed but um, especially now here after New Year's there were a lot of sparklers in the shops and it's just really nice and festive little thing and just I think it looks quite nice in a photo. The next one I wanted to add because it's something I used to collect as a... well I wasn't actually a child I was like a young grown-up. I was kind of a grown-up to be honest. Uh, <laughs> to make these little miniature animals in a photo and I haven't done one in a while so maybe I should do one again but um, I think they're really fun uh, just like a miniature anything actually the next one is to use a ribbon or a bow um, mostly in your hair or also as a forced perspective photo um, this is just requires you to have some thread or some ribbon that you can make into a nice little shape and then you can decide uh, how you want to use it but kind of using that as your main component in the photo. Whew, okay, I don't know what is going on here, I don't know, I feel like this video I've been in so weird locations and I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration or just um, yeah, some motivation to take some photos or some new ideas for your photos. If you'd like to see more of my stuff, come say hi. I'm over at Kutovakika on Instagram and let me know in the comments below if you're gonna try out any of these ideas. That would be really fun to hear. And um, I'll probably see you either on Sunday or on Wednesday next week. And until then, take care. Bye! There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello.